folks, Sean from Bang On Drums. Welcome to a new series. This is the first episode we're going to do talking about basic good technique so as to avoid injury. It's a physical instrument that you're playing when you're playing drums. So we want you to enjoy it for many, many years. We're going to talk about uh, technique. We're going to start talking about moving around the kit, basic, eventually basic beats, and we'll morph those into more beats. So stay tuned with us as we're going to do a whole series of these that will keep coming out regularly. Keep checking back. Hey folks, okay, so let's get into the technique because it's an instrument where unfortunately too many of my friends and close uh, acquaintances have been taken out because of injury, carpal tunnel syndrome, various different tendonitis problems, and it's a lot of it has to do with technique. It's a, it's a physical instrument. Now, we're going to talk about match grip first of all, and that's the way I typically play, but there's a lot of guys who play traditional too. Someday I'll tell you where traditional came from. Uh, that's basically putting the, the, the fingers, the, the stick between the, the middle two fingers and then holding it or controlling it with your thumb. But today we're going to talk match grip. There are five essential points of technique when it comes to match grip. The first is to make sure that you have your stick sitting in the little groove in your hand. In other words, you can see in your hand there is a groove that comes right alongside your thumb, the pad in your thumb. You want to lay the stick right there, okay? The second point is you want to then bring your forefinger and thumb together to create a fulcrum. In other words, that. There's the rubber, the rubber drumstick, right? You want that to be the pivot point of your drumstick. On the back of the stick, you want your, your fingers to simply wrap around very, very comfortably. And you want to leave about an inch and a half or so behind your, your finger. And that'll be a personal thing. Some people will choke up a bit more. Some will like it almost disappeared. So it's a, it's a preference and you'll feel that. Finally, you want to keep your hands flat. And this is a big key point to avoiding injury. The way you're built is that your hand moves in this direction, not in this direction. It's not a tennis grip. It's this way. And the reason for that is that avoids extra strain or, or tension in the tendons and in the connective tissue of your wrist, okay? So as we're doing this, we want to make sure that we are using our wrist. This is not arms. Arms will come in later. We'll introduce why we're using the arms in, in this kind of a sweeping motion. But for now, we want to make sure hands flat using wrists. So going back through it again, Right along the side of your thumb. Fingers wrap around comfortably with the fulcrum being your thumb and forefinger. Okay? Keep your hands flat. Use your wrists. Critical to long-term playing and building endurance on the kit. We'll talk next about moving around the drums using this particular technique. <laughs> 